Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Anime on Draft episode 17. Um, I'm your host, Rolando, this week, and uh, joining me, as always, is the lovable Alec. Hey, guys! And I'm so lovable! <laughs> <laughs> and the always raging Drew. I'm fucking disgusted by what just happened here. Like, <laughs> what? what? Is it because you're so drunk already? I'm not going to lie, guys. I've been drunk all day. Like, it, it was a mistake. My head hurts really <laughs> bad, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to power through for, for all of you guys. I'm going to drink, drink this water, beer. Bro. I'm going to enjoy it. No, fuck water. I, I'm going to drink this beer. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna power through. I believe. I believe. <laughs> yeah. Fuck water. <laughs> water. <laughs> All right. Fuck water. Water. Is this okay, amateur? Water? Is this amateur hour? Playoffs. Like, okay, like what? Playoffs. Like, what is this? Like, They're talking about playoffs. All right. Playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this week we're gonna talk about this beer that we have, Drake's Denogonizer, and uh, we will also be root. changing things up a little bit. You. So um, this week, dur- during the happy hour segment, we will be discussing one old series um, mm-hmm. each. So kind of stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's exciting. We're changing it up. So um, why don't we get right into the pairing? So we've got the Drake's Brewing Company Dean Organizer. It is a uh, <clears throat> Imperial IPA. It'll uh, log double into IPA. You. Yeah. So you've pronounced it r- correctly twice, and I'm really impressed by that because I keep l- I keep looking at the label, and it's like sideways for me because it's like <laughs> they have the they have like the normal name. It's like going down the bottle, and it's like hyphenated and shit like that. And then they have the the name sideways. And I keep looking at that. and I'm like, I'm too way too, <laughs> you're drunk, too drunk to, to read it. To, it's because you're drunk. <laughs> what do you think <laughs> to, to, to be pronouncing that? Denogan, denogonizer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I guess it's it's right. not yeah. that it's not that complicated, but it it it's a lot of words. There's like many, there's many G's. There's a lot of vowels in there. Like it's too much. When you look at the much. bottle, and it's like the so they have the artistic version, like Drew was saying, where like all the letters and shit are split up. When you look at it and you just see this bottle and you don't know it's an imperial IPA, you could swear that this is in some way brewed with gin. And oh, yeah. then sit there and go, I really hope to God this is not brewed with gin. That I literally looked at this. I'm like, I know this is an IPA, but people do weird things. If gin is in this at all, I'm not going to like this. Like, the, just gin and beer, that doesn't sound good. I'm just yeah. saying, that does not sound good. That like, reminds good. me of Christmas, dude. It's Christmas. Oh, yeah. Gin and beer, dude. Just mixed together. <laughs> it sounds disgusting. It's like doing sake bombs, except you just you just dump up shot of gin into your glass of IPA. So, mm. Got it. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> Drew, you're going to have a hard time because this one's 9.75%. Yeah, so, good luck. Um, I'm fucked. Good luck. I'm fucked already. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter. Like, I mean, we're going right. to, we're going to get to my show. And I'm just going to be just, like, so hype about it. Just like ranting on and on. Just like, or passed out or you'll be passed it. out. <laughs> <laughs> and, so what about your show, Drew? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll power through. Background. I'll power through for the view, the listener, view, view listeners, the, the, view, the, the, the listeners. listeners. This right. beer is cool. dope, though. It's uh, let's I mean, get on with the with it. What do you guys get think? on with the yeah. getting on? Yeah, yeah I mean, it tastes uh, delicious. Smells real good. It's it's an IPA. Ooh. It's an imperial IPA. It's, it's uh, got a it's, nice foamy, creamy head. It's mm-hmm. not like bubbly. It's like a good foamy one That's with a lot of legs. It's it's mm-hmm. it's better than the mission. Um, That's yeah for a double IPA. Um, it's it's gonna be more drinkable, and it's it's got it's got all the like bitter flavors that you would expect and things like that. But to me, as an IPA lover, it is drinkable for sure. I'm gonna read this. This has a lot of malt. Yeah. To me. Because uh, normally oh, you expect sure. like a lot of citrus with a, uh, an IPA, and there is a, like the normal IPA flavors, but there is like an extra something there, and there is a lot of malt, which um, makes this. I actually really like this. Yeah. Um, 
I, I was surprised when I drank it because I was like, oh, Imperial. I think IPA, the but I think the reason you like this is you get so much fruit and so much citrus right up front that you're not really concerned with <laughs> the bitterness. The aftertaste you get is very bitter. Um, but like right what you get up front, you're smelling a ton of citrus. You're getting a ton of citrus on your tongue and that different flavors. And then you drink it down and you get that bitterness and it kind of lingers. But then you're like, I want I want another sip. Like, this is really it's good. It's not as bad as the mission, though, for me. Um, this the mission is, wasn't think, this citrusy. No. And objectively speaking, like, eat, like take a side that I don't like IPAs. This is just better than the mission. So there's yeah, that. Yeah, but, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree for sure. It's for sure. Um, well, uh, there's not much to say about it other than, like, it's got a nice kind of bitter, bitter taste to it. But it's not, you know, like, off-putting bitter. Mm-hmm. And um, it's got like nice floral scent, so. Yep, it's got the good hoppy smell you like mm-hmm. in IPAs. Well, uh, yeah, it's really malty. It's like more malty than normal to me, so I think that's also part of why I like it. I like malt, so. Yeah, kind of like. Would you compare? Anything. How would you guys uh, compare this to what we had last week with the uh, pineapple <clears throat> uh, sculpin? Well, I mean, I like this better than the pineapple sculpin. Um. I think as a non-IPA drinker, the uh, pineapple sculpin's easier to drink because it uh, kind of masks the bitterness better. Um, but I think in terms of IPAs, this is definitely better. Um, yeah, it's I just, agree. It's a better IPA um, than the pineapple one. I'm not saying it's, it's better it's than more, the sculpin because I don't remember that, but yeah. it's better than the pineapple. It's more of like a pure IPA. This yeah, is like this, is true. this beer true. is what I think of. Like this taste is what I think of when I get like a pure IPA. This is this is closer related to I think like the regular Sculpin, um, mm-hmm. without any flavorings or anything like that. It's it's really close to that. It's also really close to the Swami's uh, IPA from Pizza Port. It's it's actually really close Pizza to that. I think it's closer than the Sculpin. I don't know if you've had that before, Rolando. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're they're very they're very similar. This beer and is it the uh, Pizza Port at Disneyland? Well. No, 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 no. It's Pizza Port brewery. Uh, brewery. Yeah, I know. I was it's kidding, like nor- it's like a North County, like Northern San Diego County. Um, oh, okay. Has like right around like Camp Pendleton. They're like up there and stuff like mm. that. So hmm. I'm gonna have to go there sometime. We'll we'll go there because the pizza is like actually fucking dank and their and their really? beer is really good. Yeah, their beer. Yeah, like we'll super have to take good. a trip. We'll have to do a field point. trip. Yeah, field trip guys. It's for science, right? It is for science. <laughs> cool. Most of their beers are really good, so yeah, we'll we'll have to do that. Well, uh, let's get Ooh. right on to the ratings then. So, um, Drew, why don't we start with you, our IPA aficionado? I don't know if I'm an aficionado. Um, I'm drunk, so like this is just this is like a good beer. <laughs> this for is me. amazing. Like, this is so good. I'm not gonna rate it like abundantly high. I think it's like a. Hmm, let me take another sip. Hold on. A little sipperino. It's like it's so floral and it's like super fruity, which is good. This is like a this is a four. I'm going to give it a four. It's a, it's a four for me. Um, super, super good beer. But I can see myself with the aftertaste and things like that, not wanting to drink more than one. It is it is very drinkable due to like the floral and the fruity flavors and stuff like that. But more than one, um, especially where I'm at right now, is probably not going to be doable. It's kind of a heavier, a heavier <laughs> sort of beer. Yeah, yeah you'd um, be dead. Drink it, drink <laughs> it with food. This would definitely go good with food. Um, I had, I had a slice of pizza and I sipped on this a little bit while I was having that. It was excellent. So, um, definitely better excellent. with food. But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go four um, before I continue to ramble on. All right. <laughs> well, Alec, what do you think? Um. I'm probably going to rate it the same as the uh, Sculpin Pineapple um, <clears throat> because I'm not rating it objectively. I'm rating it off my preference. Um, the pine- Sculpin Pineapple was uh, it's easier for me to for me to drink just because the pineapple fruity flavors are like so strong. and They really mask everything else of the IPA, not everything else, but mostly right. everything else. Um, this one, because I used to like IPAs, so I've had a lot of IPAs in my day and uh Back then, if I think about when I was drinking them, then this would have been a real, you know, solid one for me. But because of my palate now, I'm just not a big fan. So I definitely kind of go with the uh, I'm going to go with the 3.75 like I gave the uh, Sculpin uh, Pineapple just because I really do enjoy that multi flavor that I keep mentioning. 
It's really quite nice. Right. Awesome. I'm proud of you. Your uh, <coughs> palate is evolving. Dude, it evolved into IPAs and then left, and now I'm a stout guy. What can I say, man? I'm just getting used <laughs> to them again because you guys are making me drink them all the time. That's all that's happening. But, I mean, you're, you're, you're rating them. Like, I think every IPA we've had on here, you've like the lowest you've rated them. Well, what was the mission? Besides the mission. We're not counting, we're not counting the mission, but like every other well, one you've like rated pretty high. So What have we done? We've done Well, I, I don't think IPAs are bad. It's just that I can't handle them very well. If it's a bad IPA or if it's like a really strong IPA like the mission again, it's going to get a little rating but these are just good beers i like i can drink the pineapple one because of the things i mentioned last week i can drink this one because of the malty citrus flavors um if it were just pure bitterness like the mission again i can't do it but like these ones have other flavors that i enjoy (laughs) so i can give them a higher rating i think like the bitterness is like what we've talked about it's like on the back end so it's like not that bad Mm -hmm. so this is yeah I i think this would be like a good like beginner we i say i think i say that every time we have you say that every time this is like this this is a good beginner IPA. The mission is not a good beginner <laughs> no, IPA. It's not. You didn't say that. Is, that, that definitely not. You didn't. Say I think yeah, the Sculpin because it's because it's all definitely the IPAs, not. <laughs> of all the IPAs we've had, I think as someone who knows that that I don't like IPAs as much as you guys, as you guys, I think the the Sculpin and Pineapple is probably the easiest beginner I actual IPA just because it's so. That's like a fake. That's IPA, like a so. fake IPA though, because of the flavor. Yeah, and if I, you're gonna drink a Sculpin, drink drink like a regular Sculpin. Like, like, like but I if said, you want to be introduced like to Sculpin. flavor types, then you know get mm-hmm. like see what the bitterness is all about. It's there, but not overpowering, so it won't scare you away from the right the type or whatever. Well, uh, I am kind of on the same lines as Drew here. This is a good IPA, uh, double IPA. Sorry. Um, I do like it better than the mission, although I do think the mission is a very drinkable, um, I don't drinkable beer, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I, I see what Alex saying with all the, the maltiness. Like I looked at the bottle and it says that it is mashed with Munich and crystal malt for color and flavor to help balance out the hop assault, which, um, that makes sense. I mean, it like, it clearly helps because you like it. Like or mm-hmm. not only like it, but you like the malt in in this. Mm-hmm. So well, and the color, the color too. The color is beautiful. It's like a yeah, be- it's like very gold. When I think yeah. of IPA, this is like this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to taste like. It's it's pure. So right, you done good, Drake. You done Drake. Good. <laughs> you've done well. Um, I, so I can't uh, say your name, but you've done well. <laughs> the denominator. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this a four. Um, I believe that's higher than I gave the mission. I think I gave that like a yes. three seven five or some something like that. I think it is higher. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good. I like it. I would definitely drink this again. Yeah, for sure. Me too. So, Me too. Actually, and it's a for it's affordable too. We didn't really talk about that. It's yeah. like six dollars for a a bottle. For a bottle. So really mm-hmm. good. Yeah, for a twenty two really ounce beer. bottle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yep. Well, yep. let's move right in to our anime segment. So um, this week we have a couple of shows to discuss within the pairing, and um, we've got Classroom of the Elite and Gamers. So uh, what are you guys thinking? Which one do you want to start with? <clears throat> let's talk about Classroom of the Elite first, because I think there's going to yeah. be a little bit of more substance to that. Yeah, and I just watched it. All right. And well, I got plenty to say. We've got a unanimous <laughs> vote. So, um, Classroom of the Elite, episode three. Um, it's something about like uh, dogs don't do de- like trade. Man is an animal whatever. that makes bargains. No other yeah, animal does this. No dog <laughs> exchanges bones with another. Yeah. So that's what it is. It's there's that. Um, <laughs> it like the, the theme for all of the episode titles have to do with like philosophy from La Rouchefo Ru- or whatever, however you pronounce his name. Um, he's a French La dude, Russo. some La Rouche Manafa. He's a, he's a French philosopher and, yeah. um, they're kind of like, you know, implementing that kind of stuff into these episodes. So, um. Uh, Alex, since you have just seen the episode, what did you think <clears throat> about the events that transpired? Um, <clears throat> well, let's. I'll, I'll just talk about the events that transpired, and then I'll get to the other things that I thought about this episode. Um, 
I thought that uh, so at the end of episode two, they were showing that like everybody did well or whatever and all that shit. And uh, and then they're showing that what actually happened is this. The reason they did well is because he went out and he like he got all the test questions previous from previous years and he gave it to them to the day before they memorized all the questions and everybody passed except one guy who failed. And then this kid, can we, can we talk about that, that for a second? Can we talk like about that what? for a second? The yeah, dude what? failed when he had the answers yeah. to the test. Well, he didn't, yeah. what? he didn't care. He it's didn't not, care to memorize the answers. Is the it, thing. No, no. They said at the <laughs> after party, it's not my fault. I dozed off. That's what he said. Yeah. So like, he fell asleep what? during the test. He, didn't, he, didn't he fell asleep during it. the test. <laughs> Yeah, and he fell asleep during the test. <laughs> and and so I, I want to talk about this a little bit. So they they talk about that. He talks about dozing off, whatever. And it's and it's like they – I'm not going to get into it a, a lot, but they talk about the teacher about buying back his points so that he doesn't fail or whatever. But the main thing that I want to talk about is what uh, Susan A said. And she was like, well, I don't know how – if like people getting expelled from the class or you know, getting effects. forced to drop out or whatever, how that – exactly, how that negative affects our class. At this point, let the dude fucking fail. You gave him the fucking answers. Like – what more is it going to take? And then we see him playing basketball at some point, and he's awful at it. Well, like, I mean, he, well, he, he was he's not focused. In it. But if there's you're something not focused, in his head at least you know on focus on one thing and memorize the answer to the test. I was I was so mad. I was I was so pissed about that. Like that it seems like something's going on with him that like. That we're gonna find out later, you know, because he's distracted worth, in basketball. Is it worth spending a hundred thousand <clears throat> points of their money to save this dude? Like, I don't it, know. What if? Man. What it's, if they all get expelled? If he gets expelled? Yeah, that's true. Uh, honestly, crazy, it's you know? it's all just part of exposition. Like, it's even this, like this dude. dude, I forgot his name, but like, he's just like, oh, why would you like do this for me? Like in reference to Susan A, even though like. Ayana Koji's like, oh yeah, it was all her. Like she's the, the the reason why you didn't like get expelled. Now, like I bet you, he's got in his mind. He's like, oh man, this chick's into me. He's like, <laughs> she's so she's so she's so Cinderella. She's just like she she like is super standoffish, but like she really just wants my D. She just well, wants that's me. like that's like kind of what they were saying when they had the after party yeah. of like the celebration of them all passing or whatever. It's like, oh, she's beautiful and she's like cute, like whatever they say. Uh, like, it doesn't consider matter. it. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> even though she's just like I, I would not touch any one of you she unless it was in my own best interest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which well, it's uh, not. continuing on, Alec, uh, go ahead. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but uh, you know, they all passed except that one guy. They unexpelled him, and uh, and then they had the after party. But then we see the nice girl who wants to be friends with anyone, everyone with the huge, enormous, gigundo Kush- boobs. Kushida. Yeah, and so she's all like, oh, do you like girls like that? And he's like, we're just friends. And she's like, okay. And then she goes and wander- wanders off and starts kicking a fence and acting all crazy. Like, literally, they showed her eyes, and it's like, yeah, that's like she, murder chick eyes. She's a yandere. She's, <laughs> yeah, she's crazy. She'll kill someone. Yeah. She'll cut a bitch. Like, whoosh, 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 I'll shank you. <laughs> and uh, and then, of course, she's like, don't tell anyone or I'll tell people I you tried to rape me. And it's like, that's, you know, false accusations. And then she just reaches over, grabs his hand, and puts it on her boob. And he's like... Oh, my hand is on your boob, and she's like, "They're not false now. My your fingerprints are on here." And I'm just like, <laughs> "Who the fuck just like gets their hand grabbed and then put somewhere without them noticing? Like, what the fuck are you doing?" And then, and then, hey, as no, I was no, telling no, you guys no, earlier, <laughs> you telling me that you did not know where that hand was gonna put your hand, and that you wouldn't just go with the flow. Me. After she just said, I, mean, I-, I could say you tried to rape me, I'd be like, no, I'm not putting my hand there. <laughs> I, I mean, her, dealing her, with this. Her, her opi are like, okay, hand emoji, like, right there. Like, got, yeah, got him. but jail is, o- okay, no hand emoji, like, no. There's like a, the hand emoji you just explained, there's it's a line like the through it. Emoji. <laughs> yeah, there's a police emoji. No, so that scene, 
should have had a big old stop emoji that showed up like, <laughs> the, no, the calm X, down the here, X pull hands, your hand away. The X hands. Yeah, yeah dude, that's exactly, exactly. And so, and then she's like, your fingerprints are on here. And I'm sitting here like thinking like, oh, since when did you start wearing latex? I, I mean, unless you got like some hair on her. I don't, I don't know of many, you know, I mean, maybe fingerprints do leave on skin, but you gotta, I don't, anyways. But, it says disposition. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I really like um, Oyana Koji, whatever, however the fuck you yeah, say his name. I really like saying. him as a character. He, he's like, the main dude. He's, yeah. he's, yeah, he's yeah. like super mellow and like he has this, like, you know, he has a plan and they kind of talked about this a little bit where uh, the main character, uh, Suzune, like she got less of a score on like her English exam to try to bring the average up and things like that. So the two of them kind of have this like intrigue about them where they kind of know more of what's going on than they lead on uh, but in particular uh Iono Kuji is like there for some reason he's like tuned into this and he has like we talked about it last week he has like these multiple talents and things like that where he's not necessarily good at one thing or the other but he's able to like kind of manipulate things in his favor and right. things like that but I just I I like his character a lot <coughs> um Whereas we, I think we compared him a little bit to, um, to Hachiman, uh, Hachiman, um, and Hachiman sucks. Hachiman sucks compared to this character. Um, they're, they're kind of the same where they view the world as like, oh, this sucks. My life sucks. Not my life sucks, but like this all sucks. I have to put in effort to do things. He, he, this main character, um, like doesn't mind putting it in the effort, I think. And what he gets out of it um, manipulates the class in a certain way or another. We just haven't seen that come to light yet. Yeah. But the way that he manipulates things and the way he views the world is totally different than Hachiman. Um, because I don't know if he doesn't care or not, but I think he does care. Um, he cares about certain characters and things like that. But he, he does it in a way where it's like, this is kind of nonchalant. This is like, this is how I'm going to do it. It is what it is. So I'm super curious to learn um, right. more about him and what his motives are and things like that. Yeah, he's I kind feel of like got he knows mystery. more about the school than he's letting on to. Like from the very mm-hmm. beginning, because mm-hmm. they said he placed 50 on everything. So it's like, obviously Completely he's out. not he an something. idiot. Yeah. 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 And I feel like coming into it, he knew something and he wanted to try to be like, in the bottom class or something like that. Yeah, yeah that's but. what I was gonna say. He play he placed in this class on purpose per- for some he reason. He placed or himself There's some rather sort of than getting placed. It. Yeah. And it, that's what's make what makes it super interesting is because mm-hmm. he's got that intrigue about him. And so like I agree with you, Drew, with like like the good comparison is like with Hachiman from Snafu. And Hachiman kind of just does shit the way he does because he's got no self esteem and like is kind of just like a an idiot yeah. whereas like this guy is a uh-huh. bit more calculated and so mm-hmm. he he kind of does he does things in a way that's more like yeah it's calculated but he um it's not like he doesn't give a shit per se but like he's more like meh you know like yeah he, he doesn't like, i think hachiman relax. Yeah, I think like Hachima cares about the characters, whereas uh, Ayano Kuji doesn't care. He's like, well, it's it's hard to say because we don't know we don't as know much, much about, about him. him. But he he ca- I think he cares about the class, and he's like he wants to influence the class. He gets the test uh, the test answers to help everybody study and things like that. So he cares at some level. Um, and same thing with Hachiman. He cares about the characters and different things like that. Where Hachiman is like a very basic level of caring, whereas uh, Ayano Kuji is like uh, a more meta level. He like he knows what's going on. I think um, the other the other big thing he, difference between the two is that Hachiman will no matter what put himself down. Um, yeah, it, yeah, you know, like in a situation, whereas like Ayano Kuji is kind of like I don't care about getting the credit, like. I'll, you know, shift the credit to someone else. So it's not like, it's like a complete yeah. difference in like looking at like themselves. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, um, last thing to touch up on this episode is, um, Drew, I wanted to see how you view uh, Susan A um, after this episode. 
she's she's the she's more of the same for me. Um, she hasn't really evolved. It's more of like I want to get better. I want to evolve. I want to go from D to A. You know that kind of thing. Um, not not much there. I was happy to see that she was you know at least willing to stoop down and say you know hey. I forget basketball dude's name, but like, hey, really here's the, uh, the, the, <laughs> it's, it's like some something shit. short. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but she's like, here, here's like, I summarize all the so notes for on. you. Like, take a, take a look at it. Um, and then he it, still it failed. Was, Cause he's an idiot. He, he's so fucking, he literally let had him, let him her fail. notes plus, let him fail, plus, dude. plus the, the fucking, answers to the test. Plus the answers to a previous test. He literally test. had like, all the answers. the answers. Like, <laughs> Like, Jesus, like, is this going to be, like, a thing going forward? It's like you had to, like, cater to this, like, fucking retard, and it's just like, <laughs> and, yeah. oh, everybody in, the, everybody in the class, like, get, like, an 80 on the test so that this fucking retard can, you know, be on the curve because he can't get more than a 40 with the uh, the answers no, to the test. He can't even get like, a 40. Jesus. He didn't, he, like, barely got a 40, 39. <laughs> he got, like, a 38, and we're like, oh, let me let me buy his test answers, <laughs> which, uh, he which is another thing it. Which is, uh, I'm kind of getting off of what you were asking me, Rolanda, but I wanted to talk about this a little bit. The Everyone can be bought in the school. The teachers can be bought. You know, everyone can be bought. Yeah. So they, they paid 100K points to the teacher and say, hey, can we get one point back on the test so this guy can fucking pass because he's so stupid. <laughs> um, so that's 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 important to note that literally everyone in the school can be bought. Um, I know Alec was talking about this a little bit earlier, but we had the girl with the cane and the ball dude. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't really know <clears throat> much about them um except that they're in class a and they're like worried about people coming up with them and then i think in the episode before they were talking with the student council president which is uh susan a's brother um they were worried about class c though yeah what what did you think about these characters alec do you think they're important or i mean i think they'll be important but uh my obviously (laughs) like i was saying earlier what i what i think about the characters is i saw the two of them and they're sitting there talking about the class C coming up because of some guy who's troublesome. Also, I want to make everyone like take note of something. Class A was like 1100. Class B was 900. Class C was 400. And then class D was 87. So there was a pretty big, like seven. they had 87 <laughs> points. Yeah, they were bad. They were real bad. So anyways, I saw these two people and it's the bald dude. And they're just looking at this thing. At first I thought they were looking out the window, looking at the teacher and the <laughs> students. And I was like, are they just watching them? What's this going to be about? And then, and then they show him as this bald dude and this this rich blonde or this rich lavender haired colored girl with a hat and a cane. And I just remember I, I said it after to you guys. And I was just like, oh, I'm a rich girl and uh, with purplish like light purplish hair. But I have a cane. It's like, what the fuck? Why does she have a cane? I don't understand. It's like they're trying to She's make this 15 year old girl with lavender hair be a fucking 60 year old man who sits in his fucking smoking chair with a pipe and just smokes smokes while drinking scotch. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> Ah, yeah. Sorry, something got in my on my tongue. I think it was a hair. You're dying. <laughs> Anyways, You're dying. my own hair from my head. Yeah, I'm dead. It's cyanide. But I don't get it. I'm just like, like I said, they're creating intrigue. But like, it's just I just I don't get it. She's like walking with a limp with this cane. She's like 15, and rich. Like, go fix yourself. You'll heal. Like, I don't get it. Fix your bag, oh bitch. Uh. Fix it. Go get therapy. Come on. You're rich as fuck. Like, just judging by her clothes, she's supposed to be rich. But anyways. And then, of course, they do, like, she starts walking away. And the camera doesn't really move. She's, like, walking into the camera. I'm like, typical. Of course, they make the person who who looks like fucking Dr. Evil walk into the goddamn <laughs> like, right. $100 billion. Okay. Mo- mo- moving on. Um, why don't we talk about gamers? So, um, in this episode, we've got... I just lost the game. Fuck. Um, well... I've lost my train of thought, but, um, <laughs> gamers, gamers. So, um, this episode we have, um, like, uh, we meet Chiaki, this, uh, you know, seaweed haired loner gamer girl. So, uh, Drew, do you want to talk about, uh, talk about seaweed what happened? Hair. I'm pissed guys. Why? I'm, he's back I'm really he's upset. Pissed. Why are you, why are you mad? <laughs> 
she had this beautiful like seaweed long hair it and then she, she's like and then what's his name ko like comes in or no uh not ko that's fucking new game when you have a blonde a blonde 27 year old the dude who used to be a nerd who's now cool yeah, uh, his name is uh, Uihara. Uh, he comes in and is like, hey, hey, girl, cut cut that hair, girl. And then she shows up the next day and like her, his friends are like, hey, what's that new girl? Like, can you get me like hooked up with her? And he's like, yeah, dude, I got you. And she cuts her hair. And I'm just like so upset about it because her she hair was looks, like beautiful. She had like this long hair look. Like so much better. I know, Rwanda, hair. you're Oh, no, dude. No, I'm dude. I'm all about the long hair. She looks but so much better we'll, we'll, we'll battle. <laughs> we'll battle on this like till till the day ends but uh that's where the conflict is uh started starting to get creative and i was like kind of i'm like on the fence of like what i'm feeling about this anime where it's like it's sort of becoming this harem rom-com sort of deal where i was like more interested in like the gaming side of it um we see you know the uh the seaweed hair her name is chaiki um Chiaki. we see or Chiaki, excuse me. And we see um we see her like being this like super nerdy girl and uh the main character, um excuse me, Amano is like, you know, hey, let's hang out, you know, kind of forcing that situation. While he steps all and over they start, Tendo. Like, <laughs> Poor Tendo. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Um but you know, he he kinda like gets involved with them. They're kind of flirting, texting back and forth, and they have like this like sort of falling out where they're like, you know, music is better. No, the character design is better. I like Moe characters and things like that. And it, you know, it kind of devolves in that and then uh uh Uihara comes back and he's like, you know, why can't you guys just get along? And and so uh Uihara's girlfriend, uh the uh the pink haired girl, uh Aguri. Aguri, um who was like this kind of childhood lover or admirer of Uihara. Uh, that's kind of weird way to say it, but <laughs> childhood lover <laughs> Child, childhood love interest like that's just a what funny, you, funny phrase <laughs> don't don't persecute me for this bro um but she she sees this going on and she's and then uh you know amano's like no it's fine you know he's in love with you like all this shit and then the final like culmination of the episode is uihara like all over like short cut hair uh chiaki and it's just like what is what is going on? Why why is this becoming rom com? I just want like right. games and and things like that. But, you know, I mean, I personally don't see it going into like a like a rom com harem. Um, I think that they're just playing off of the the romance aspect to add to the comedy. I still see it as like a pure comedy. I mean, show. it, it creates it creates good good conflict, which is which is fine. But I'm I'm rooting for Agiri and uh, Uihara because we find out in the previous episode the backstory. It's like uh, Agiri kind of like conforms to what uh, Uihara's like vision of like the perfect girl is, and I feel bad for her, and like I want her to win. Well, she mistakes. Whereas like is. we just m- yeah, that's yeah. true. But, like, we just met Chiaki, and, like, she's great. Like, she's, like, this nerdy, like, has no confidence sort of girl. But then she's, like, pushed into this, like, cut your hair, conform to this. And I'm, like, I, I'm not about that. Like, I don't I don't want that to happen. I, I want her to be pure and nerdy. <laughs> I want Aguri to be with Uihara. I want Amano to finally recognize Tendo. Like, this is the route that it's supposed to be, and they're, like, pushing it in different directions, which is which is what makes the show interesting, and I love it for that. But at the same time, it's like, I just want it to go this way. I want everything to work out. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I... Are you assuming routes in 2017? <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop right there. The, all right, well, <laughs> out. the way I personally see it is what I see is going to happen is like, yeah, there's this, you know, whole misunderstanding that's going on. So what I initially thought from from the start was that um, the Mono-san that um, Amano keeps like getting requests from in his mobile game is mm-hmm, Chiaki. Mm-hmm. And that the whole reason, hundred percent, hundred percent, that's going to be, be that's behind be all of this misunderstanding. Is like he's like, oh, like let me like send this shit over to Monosan, like this request, and then like she sees her phone, and then Uihara is looking over. He's like, oh, what's this? And so that's what causes that whole misunderstanding. And then like, yeah, like she clearly has a thing for Uihara, but 
I think that it's going to devolve into something like Augury and Urahara are going to be together. And then there's going to yeah. be this yeah. like, you mm-hmm. know, thing where it's like, will Amano want to go with Tendo or will he want to go with Chiaki? Like, I feel like this whole thing is a distraction. Like, yeah, she likes the way Urahara looks, but like in terms of like, you know, personality and clicking wise, like she has more chemistry with Amano. But I don't know. Alec, what, what do you I think, think? I think uh, the reason that she's like listening to what he says too is like she's been, you know, a neat essentially. Like, you know, she kind of hides and plays video games. And all of a sudden this like dude who is, you know, good looking or whatever is being nice to her and being like, yeah, you're cute. It's probably the first time she's ever had that experience. And yeah. she's like, oh my God, yeah, I'm going to take your advice because you think I'm cute and all that sort of shit. And then like, she's going to be like, oh, well, I still just want to play video games, you know? And I agree. I think it'll just end up being some distraction. I think Urahara and pink haired girl are going to end up together just because they like each other. She obviously she's going to stick with him because she's had this, these feelings for him for forever. And then like, uh, after he found out about her feelings in middle school when he was weird or whatever, he he's like, Oh, he, I think his feelings like grew from there. Yeah. And I think what's happening with this other girl, like the dude thinks is just a misunderstanding. I think part of it is though, part of it though is Urahara not realizing that he's being an idiot <laughs> yeah. and like doing the things that he's doing. Cause he was kind of the nerdy dude and he's only ever had one yeah. girlfriend. So it's That's not like he has experience say. in this. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. It's like he comes off as like this really cool guy or whatever, but he has no experience with this. He was that no. nerdy, that nerdy kid, you know, went to the arcades, has no interaction with girls and things like that. And all of a sudden yeah. he's forced it. Oh, not like forced, but like he put himself into this like cool guy role or mm-hmm. whatever it was. Persona. And yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> so he doesn't really know how to handle all persona he doesn't really know how to handle (laughs) like all of all of this attention things like that so he's he's kind of fucking up you know he Mm -hmm. he doesn't know what he wants um he doesn't know like what he's doing is influencing or like pushing the girls that like like him away from him in terms of like a geary and things like that so it's kind of it's kind of like a lose lose for him he's kind of being like this douchebag character but at the end of the day i i really like his character i like the interaction he has with the mono and things like that he's like actually nice to him mm-hmm. it's like trying to like promote like relationships and promote like, like hey like we have fun pl- playing games you know let's go talk to chicks who like have fun playing games and things like that so i think at the core he's a good person but i think we'll see more in the next episode where it's like you know he he's he's going off in this wrong path that maybe he doesn't necessarily know is bad but he needs that kind of like push and say like hey dude yeah he's gonna have have a girlfriend yeah Yeah, like you have a girlfriend and you're like put your arm around this girl who like doesn't know any better and like not even arm around her he's like behind her with in his her, arm like her on her shoulder yeah, he's yeah. like got his pelvis against her ass like I mean, he's um, <laughs> like we're in the club about to start grinding kind of <laughs> position and it's like bro you need to take a step back wrong. <laughs> yeah, with the little dude perfect, perfect. bump and grind thank you r kelly, thank you, r. kelly. appreciate it the, but no, so like he needs to take a step back and I don't think he realizes the effect he's having on this nerdy girl. But I also I like I like the effect, the influence he's having on the main character. But I also like the influence the main character is having on him. Yeah, because obviously he was very yeah. like he was trying to denounce his ways of nerdiness or whatever. And like, I don't play games. Well, I do. I'm just really good at games. But, I, you know, whatever. And, and now he's like, I can have fun playing games again. Because this fool, who I thought was like me, is actually nothing like me. Because this dude just wants to play video games and have a good time in his own way. And, like, me comparing him to me is, like, insulting to his way of life or whatever. And so it's having a really, like, good impact on both characters. The relationship, which sometimes in animes you don't see. It's a lot of times I feel like it's one-sided. And this time at least the friendship is very, like, it's growing both characters. Which is, like, normal friendships. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. like real life. So that's cool. Cool. <laughs> Which is well, <laughs> well, Rolando. I, like I show. can we can we talk about Tendo and like her like just getting shot down again and again? I I know you, <laughs> uh, you and I were talking about it, but let's 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 devolve into that uh, relationship. 
Well, I mean, I feel bad for Tendo. Like, I honestly, like, the first episode is like, meh. Like, whatever. Another cute blonde yeah. chick. Oh, you know, like, there's, like, about a billion of them out there. But, like, as, you know, episodes two and three happened and she just kept, you know... <laughs> devolving into this like r- really like love struck character for this main character that like honestly i feel has no redeeming qualities about I him agree. other than the fact I that he's agree. very nice and you know um i guess like about passionate games. yeah like it's just like all right like i feel bad for her like i think it's just like you know she's just a love struck girl she needs to she she wants what she wants. Like, you know, you, you can't help who you fall in love with. Right. So I feel yeah. bad for her, but like, I think it'll, you know, it'll, it'll end up okay. Like she'll, she'll end up with, with Amano. Like it, it's, it's a thing. I think it's going to be like a, like a love triangle end up with Amano, mm-hmm. Tendo and Chiaki just because there is a lot of chemistry yeah. between Chiaki and Amano. There, there, except when they Chiaki disagree. and, yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Like, Chiaki and Amano are, like, pas- it's, like <clears throat> super, super passionate about, like, what they argue about. And that's, like, how couples, like, like are kind of created through that passion yeah. things like that. But I That's I also how they're you. ended I, as well. <laughs> that's true. true. That's true. <laughs> it's, um, a thin, it's, a, it's a very uh, uh, thin line to a, walk it is. I think. I think how the this these two's relationship is gonna go though. It's like we talked about it. Like Mono is gonna be end up being Chiaki and things like that. So it's like you have that passion, things like that, and so it will develop into something else. But I I agree with you. I I feel bad for Tendo. She's she's such like an innocent like passionate girl about games, and she just wants to get this gaming club going and things like that. And she gets shot down. And what's what's really sad about it is like too, she's like so popular with her class and things like that. It's like oh, she's so hot. Like you know, why isn't anyone with her? And then we see like a mono shoot her down over and over and over again. The class is like, what the By fuck's accident wrong with him? Too, it's like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he's like holding he her like when realize. she falls down. <laughs> it's it's just he calls her a scum. He, uh, she calls him a scumbag, and he's yeah. like, "What?" Like he's she totally oblivious. Like, I think she called him shit. I think she called him kuzu or something. Like, it was like I, I don't know the bag. translation. I, I don't think it was scumbag. I think you're right, Rolando. Yeah. I think it was like yeah. you shitter. Shit. Like, <laughs> they probably yeah, like, like translated it like, in the best way that would translate into English. <laughs> it's like you fucking it, shitter. Like, I, I can't. It probably even has a similar they, connotation or something. But. Yeah. All right. And then she turns to or fucking dust. Uh, before we go on, like she turns to fucking dust, and he steps on her, and she goes, <laughs> like, <laughs> "That was that dude, was that was the best that part was... of the episode when <laughs> she agree, turned to I dust." Agree. No, because first he was like, "Oh no, I'm not to see. I'm not here to see her." And I she have turns no to stone, her. <laughs> and he's like, "I have no interest oh, in her." And God. she just goes, I, and, I felt and then so he just bad. steps over. <laughs> I love that part though when he's like walking past to go talk to Chiaki. And it's just like he steps on the dust and it's like just like a knife, a again. knife in the wound, yeah. <laughs> like hold, hold this just shit, bitch, it. like twist oh. it, get the salt I, shaker, I, just start pouring it right in there. <laughs> I feel so. He bad doesn't for even Tendo. realize what he's uh, doing though. Like, oh, yeah, he's Alano, totally oblivious. He just is totally super oblivious. oblivious. He d- he thinks that she's just like trying to get him to join the club when actually like yeah. after that she like fell in love with him or whatever and he's just like no I don't you know she's cool and the club is great but I don't belong there and it's like Tend- dude, Tendo, if Tendo you only knew is pure please right. please protect <laughs> like fuck <laughs> poor poor girl all right well before we drag on on this um any longer let's move on to our new section so um we are calling this the anime memories. So anime memories. Um, we anime each memories. have anime chosen <laughs> a a show that has already aired, hmm? not currently airing, yes. and that we haven't discussed in the podcast. And has finished, I believe. And ha- yes, has completed. Um, Generally, and so the inspiration for this came. <coughs> excuse me. Last week, wow, <laughs> um, we had uh, we had Mark on our show, and he it's discussed how he show. didn't like True Tears, and I was like, "Huh, that's interesting," because I liked that show, and um, yeah, well, it was a we show all know that Mark's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a show I hadn't <laughs> like Mark. thought about in a while because you know <laughs> it's like a it's a fairly old PA work show. Um, Paw works, yes, Paw works, <laughs> and so uh, 
like uh, I kind of wanted to discuss all this. So um, I guess I'll start. Um, so okay. I'm going to talk about True Tears. And um, this show is a it's a very old PA work show. This show is from 2008. Can you believe that? That's nine years ago. Wow. Wow. I just graduated high school. Kapow. Yes, exactly. So um, Kapowie. This show has, you know, pretty um, dissenting opinions about it. Um, There are, it's got, you know, like, it's fairly above average. It's got, you know, like around an eight in in terms of rating, like user ratings. And um, for me, I thought it was a fairly, it was a fairly decent, good show. It's not like, it's not like of the level of like Hanasaku Iroha or like, Shirobako, that kind of stuff that PA Works puts out, but it's <clears throat> definitely not glass slip. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, how did I know that was coming? <laughs> um, uh, I just kind of wanted to, you know, like brush over this show. Just like I'm sorry if if like you guys haven't seen it or if any of the listeners haven't seen it, but there are going to be spoilers. Um, Spoiler alert! Stop now. Basically, True Tears is it's a romance drama. And so Mm -hmm. the main conflict and most of it comes from like, most of the conflict comes from the fact that a bunch of people are either lying or hiding their feelings. And so that's what creates all the drama. And that's not so different from real life. Am I right? Am I right? Yo? Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty typical with, well, like the main, the, like the main dude, Shin Ichiro, and like the girl he likes that actually likes him back, Hiromi. Um, they're like they've been childhood friends. They've been friends for a while. But the main conflict that comes out from this is that Hiromi hears from Shin Ichiro's mother because like you know her parents died in a car crash, and so like they took her in. Um, is that oh, you know. You're actually half siblings. Um, like, um, my my husband, you know, slept with your mother, and so you're actually <laughs> his child. And <laughs> it's actually not true, but like for the for like the whole like like entire like basically like the whole like three quarters of like the whole season, they like it's assumed like oh shit like like they're probably like half siblings, right? And so, like, that's what causes all the conflict. She, like, has these, like, it feelings of, like, she really likes him, but, like, she's, like, pushing him away, like, saying she likes this, like, fucking basketball player from the others, from, like, a rival school that's the older brother of, like, this chick, this chicken girl that Mark so thinks that needed to win at the end of the show. Um, and um, basically, like who is seen as like someone that can be in love interest for Shinichiro. And so we find out later she's not related. The mother just lied because she was super jealous of Hiromi's mother <laughs> because of the previous, you know, relationship that she had with, with her husband, which is like, obviously like as a tip, don't ever like bring your exes into your relationship. Like that's, it's not a good idea. <laughs> Girls will get jealous. Um, so um, what? What? There's this whole thing. <laughs> it's super. Unless like, they're ultra cool. Yeah, it's like a it's a huge love triangle that ended up getting resolved. Like, but the main issue is so there's Noe, which is the chicken girl, who Mark thought should have won. Chicken girl. Yeah, chicken girl. There's a whole okay. plot. About there's this. a whole plot line. We talked about. Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't sure if he line. meant chicken girl or chick in girl, like no, no, chick no. and girl. Chicken, chicken girl. girl. Chicken. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got. There's you. a whole plot line you. with like how he wants to be a child, ch- like a like an il- illustrator for like children's books and like all this crap, and like chickens noble. and like That's how ch- like you know like chickens can't fly, right? Like she's like, oh yeah, yes, like this chicken can fly. He just died before it could happen. Like you know that all that kind of kind of shit, but. She she's have you not got, seen Legend of Zelda? Chickens it's PA word. It's chickens PA can't fly. Just, all right, just go with Legend it. of Zelda. I I she can glide no, on no, those no, no. chickens. All right, chickens can't fly. <laughs> We're going with reality. Chickens can't fly. But in Legend of Zelda, <laughs> they can fly. 
That's not reality. All right. Whatever. Chickens, to me, it is. Chickens cannot fly. Are you assuming reality? Yes, in I'm assuming reality. He's got. He's got. He's got. He's got Chunibyo, dude. Just, just let him. Right. Just let him live in his delusion. <laughs> All right. Let me continue on. So, Chicken Girl, she knows. So her older brother is the one she that Hiromi lies and says, like, "Oh yeah, I actually like him," but she likes Shinichiro, and he's like, tells Shinichiro, "I will go out with this Hiromi chick if you will fucking go out and bang my younger sister Noe." Um. And he's like, and he said, no way. And, and he's like, um, well, I, I can't, I like, I love this girl, but like, I guess I'll, I'll do it for, for her because she likes you. And then, um, so he goes out with Noe and like, she actually inspires him to like, you know, pursue his dream of illustrating and like do this other Dr. shit. Dr. Seuss. But in reality, he likes Hiromi. And it's like, you know, like what we were saying about Tendo, like you like who you like. It's not like you can't really help it. Like when you you're love in love, who you love, you love who like you love. John Mayer said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, what the big conflict with this show that people have is the shipping war between Hiromi and Noe. A lot of people think like, oh, well, <clears throat> Noe was the right choice. Like she truly likes him and like he should have chosen her, blah, blah, blah. But let's think about this. He, like, was forced into a relationship with her off of a false pretense. And so it's like, while she did, like, she was, like, a big reason for him to, like, you know, grow as a character and move on. Everyone says, like, Hiromi's such a bland character. Like, she didn't do any, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, she's just a manipulative bitch. Like, for, like, yes, for, like, the whole first part, she's, like, very manipulative. She's kind of a bitch. And it kind of reflects what his mother is like and like this kind of, you know, like animosity that she puts towards her is kind of like being reflected within herself. And like that changes, you know, like three quarters through the series. And then like she realizes she's being a bad character and decides like, I don't want to be like this. Like, and so the way the series ends is she's like, you like, I'm going to say she tells Shinichiro, you need to go and resolve everything with Noe and like you know like I will wait for you I believe that you will choose me and he does and everyone gets fucking pissed because he chooses her over Noe who's like oh like she's this, she's like innocent pure girl but like dude he didn't like he wasn't her love interest in the whole first place like everything happened because his fucking mom <clears throat> cock blocked him and said hey you know what? You're half cop. siblings. No, they're not. That was just a fucking lie she made up because <laughs> she fucking hated her mother. And it's just like, like, you guys don't understand. Like, I'm sorry if you think that Noe should have won, but the whole character development for all of the characters would not have happened had all of this happened. And so I'm sorry the fact that you think that Noe should have won, but she didn't win and it helped her grow it helped Shinichiro grow. It helped um, Hiromi grow as a character as well. And I'm sorry, but he should he ended up with the person he should have ended up with, and the story ended the way it should have. There is there is no debating it. The like I totally agree with whoever fucking wrote the show. Like that's how it should have ended. If it ended with Noe, there is no development for the characters because he ended up with someone that he felt like, Oh, whatever. Like the, the person that I like is, you know, like someone else, like blah, 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 this bullshit. No one ends up being true. Like becomes, no one becomes honest with their feelings. So drop the mic. You guys are wrong. That's how, <laughs> that's how it ended. Yeah. Fuck you, Mark. Mark, you're wrong. Oh, poor, you. poor Mark. Poor Mark. Poor Mark. <laughs> All right. Now that that's done, let's let, let's go on. To I don't the, see nothing wrong with the little bump and grind. Who wants to go next? I could go next. All right. Um, All right because I haven't seen the show in a while <clears throat> and I've been brushing up on what happens and I don't want to forget. Let me turn off R. Kelly real fast because um, I had this. I had the song bump, bump and, and grind, grind going real quiet dude. so I could hear Fuck you guys. Yeah. Um, Fuck yeah. Okay. So quick backstory. 
um, for for like a good solid month there, I would listen to like R. Kelly bump and grind almost every night. So now Alexa. if I go to type. So if I go type, if I go into my Google and I start typing YouTube, it actually autofills the link to R. Kelly bump and grind for me. So all I have to do is type Y-O-U and it brings me straight to R. Kelly bump and grind. I'm not even kidding. It doesn't bring me to the YouTube front page. It brings me to R. Kelly bump and grind on YouTube. So I typed Y-O-U Alexa's while we were sitting me, here. Dude. And uh, Alexa loves me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she doesn't. She loves me. Um. So anyways, the show... The show I'm going to talk about. Yes, she does. I know. I said, Alexa, why do you hate me? And she was like, because you suck. Alexa, <laughs> no. Stop. Alexa, stop. Wait, what? Sorry. What was oh, no, no. it? Turned, was just like I in, turned in it soccer on. request, right? Where like the dude with that like that like Sanai's butt it was just like, uh, like uh, show me butt. But. And then Siri is like, sorry, I'm not ready for that kind of relationship. <laughs> <laughs> tonight. Dude. All right. So tonight. Uh, this show. It's got robots. It's got pseudo harem. You didn't even sort of, say what it was kinda. called. What show are you talking? It's called Osara Cryin. I was gonna get there. It's called Osara Cryin. Oh. A S U R A, and then the English is C R Y I N apostrophe because there's no G. All right, Osara Cryin. So you got robots. You got pseudo harems. All that sort of shit. So what happens is this dude and this girl who are in the same class they get in a plane accident. And the girl like spoilers. I'm telling you right now, turn it off if you don't want spoilers. All right, she dies, and then basically her ghost is her ghost is like attached to this machine, <laughs> or her her soul or whatever is oh, attached to this machine, me. and then so she's basically like staying alive as like this ghost that only he can see, and uh, they you know they eventually they they go to this town and like all this crazy shit starts happening, like people blow up his house that he gets for free, and and then he gets this machine, and then like he saves the world. And that's the story. And it's pretty darn cool. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait, before you continue, I forgot to mention one thing about True Tears. Okay. The whole reason why her Noe's older brother tells her to, or I mean, tells Shinichiro to go out with her because like in exchange for him going out with Hiromi is because he technically likes his younger sister. So that's Again? real interest. It, that's another that's real con. incest right there. Another sister. That's con. another thing. Jesus, I'm just, Jesus I, that's Christ. That's what I forgot. To, that's what I left out. So Mark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> gross. <laughs> just going to say gross. Alec, um, I'm going to throw this out there, but Osra crying. None of that. No one's related to anyone except the two twin girls, one of which is dead and one of which is alive. But they don't love each other outside of the platonic familial love that is normal, you know, to our society. Sounds exactly. like uh, sounds like Noragami. <laughs> exactly. Like Rolan, have you seen Noragami? Uh, I've seen a, like half of the first I've, season. I've seen Noragami. So Noragami has the girl where her soul is like the attached tail. to with yeah. the cattail. This is different in that she dies and basically like this technology was created from ancient technology and they can basically use the souls of people to power these robots. And so that's how they use it. The mm. issue is in Noragami, her soul is just connected. It can disappear if she goes too yeah. far away from her body or whatever in this one, as they use the robot more. So like as, as the main character controls the robot more and more, and she is obviously like kind of the power source for this robot as he uses it more and more, basically it depletes this person's soul more and more. And so when you first start the show, this girl, her personality is in, you know, full, full fledged, She's her like super ganky. She, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like lively, anyways, lively. Genki yeah. means she's yeah, full yeah, yeah, of life. Yeah. Yes, she's full of life. Dude, t don't come on, bro. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so she's like, she's she's normal. Like she is like who she was before the plane crash. And then as he starts using it more, like you can notice, like she'll kind of like zone off and not notice things. Then she'll come back. But what happens as they use the robot more, it like depletes their soul, so they lose who they are as the ghost or whatever. So it's, and um, so it's Aldno is zero. Plus Noragami. What? How is Anyways, Aldo a zero? So, how is that like Aldo the, a zero? No, so the because the dude has like the eyeball that is like eating his brain and turning him into like a robot. So it's like that plus Noragami, what we talked about. I don't know. That makes sense. To you. That makes sense. <laughs> to me and my Anyways. <laughs> um 
So, and then there's two conflicting sides on how to kind of handle like the the robots in the situation. It, it, it's it's interesting, but uh, eventually what happens is like this one thing is like going to blow up everything and the main character and his like the ghost girl or whatever they save everything and then somehow they make it so that she comes back to life and everybody's happy. I believe that's how it ends. I think I, or I'm making I, things I haven't up. I have seen it in a while. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while for me too. I just remember I actually really enjoyed the show. Um, a lot of the characters were fun to watch. The two twin sisters were pretty cool. They had a cool like story behind them. You knew how it was going to go when they started talking about it, but it was still cool to have like kind of backstory into all the characters and the action was good. Um, it's not really something where you have to sit there and you think too much. You can definitely watch it and get what they're saying like pretty easily and just enjoy the action and the, the random witty banter between the characters. So I actually really liked the show. I don't know how other people rate it um, on on Mal. Uh, don't take Mal. I have no idea. Don't take Mal ratings as. I was gonna say, is there a Mal, rating on yeah, Mal, Mal? But I can't see Mal ratings. It. A lot of people troll on do it. With anything. Oh, yeah. I was like, I can't even see the rating on here. That's where I was getting the synopsis earlier. But uh, I liked it. Um, I think it's a good show, and it's it's fun to watch. So check it out, homies. Cool. They saved the day. They did. Cool. Yeah, they did. They did <laughs> good stuff. And the oh the main character is not super annoying, which is nice. And the girls in it are kawaii. So there you go. Ooh, More incentive. There you go. Perfect Ooh. for Drew. Ooh. Ooh, Speaking I don't of think Drew. there's any blondes. Whoa. Um, uh, oh, yeah. There's not enough blonde lollies in there, so you may not like it. So, um, <laughs> no vampires uh, either. Well, the next, the next show that I'm going to talk about has plenty of blonde lollies. Oh, there's one. <laughs> but go ahead and talk about your There's thing. two. There's multiple. There's multiple blonde lollies. Oh, well, I guess Santa's well, tipple. a lolly, but, uh, I'm sorry, but. but if you think Santa's a lolly, like, I don't know. <laughs> Am She's I a lolly? lolly? Yes. Uh, no, you're not. Nice. So oh. the- <laughs> you're a show to dude. dreams. So dreams dashed. So the show that I'm going to talk about is uh, Boku wa Tomodachi ga Sukanae. If you don't want to look at it for that, it's called Haganai is the shortcut, or in English, I don't have many friends. We've talked about we this. Know. We know, Drew. Before. We know. We know. I. <laughs> We know, we know, we know. I was I was skeptical to talk about this show because you guys always give me shit or you like talk about it. It's like, oh, we, we talked about this last week. We talked about this last week. But I love the show. The show's dope. Like it has good my for wife you, dude. in it. Good, good for you. you. <laughs> it's got it's got my wife who in it like Sa- Sena. She's a goddess. Um, she she basically, real the children. Just stop. Just stop. Dude, this you is, know I sent you. You I guys are you making her. You guys are making her impure. You, you dude, are making. I, I didn't impure. do anything. I Don't blame me. Rolando's making there's her. There impure. is a picture on the internet of a Senna body pillow <laughs> breastfeeding a baby, a real baby. <laughs> You guys, the, the internet makes her. The internet makes her impure, and I'm like, God, waving I don't want to know right now. <laughs> I don't the the know. internet makes her impure. She is. She is a goddess. She is pure. She would not do any of these things that you guys are mentioning. She is. She is my wife. Who, like, it, she is actually retarded, but that's what I like about her. <laughs> anyway, let's let's get it. Let's let's get into this story. Let's. March into kick ass. All this shit. Yeah. Like, fuck. Let's, uh, let's talk. A- <laughs> Diarrhea running down his legs. <laughs> okay, you guys are making me die. Um, <laughs> We're this, getting on a this- in here. <laughs> so Anime is real. The- oh, <laughs> The story behind this anime. God. So this is, I mentioned this the English awful. name. I shut up. I, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this greatness. Like okay. shut the fuck up. Go ahead. The the English the English name of this is I don't have many friends. Okay. You guys, you guys, just, just, just oh, continue. Just continue. Just go, dude. I can't stop. <laughs> Anyway, so right. these fu- these fuckers. So like we have we have the three main characters, which is Sana, my wife, who we have uh, Yozora, um, who is like the sundry bitch. Fuck her, don't talk about her. And then we have uh, Kodaka, who is the main uh, male protagonist. Basically, what happens is uh, these guys kind of 
form a club of people who don't they're like not relatable and they can't form they can't like relationships friends. with other people. They can't make friends. Exactly. Um, Sana kind of starts this group, which is weird because she's like this or blonde. With huge she's, tits. she's the daughter. She has huge tits. She's the, she's the daughter of the principal. <laughs> Shut up about Mark. <laughs> <laughs> can't make friends. <laughs> anyway. Let me Daughter talk of the about principal. my show. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. Show. I'll stop interrupting. Uh, uh, I so promise. She, uh... <laughs> So she's she's like the daughter of the principal. Like all the girls in her class love her. Like she's like, oh, she's so popular. She's so hot. Like all these things. She has no genuine friends. So she starts this club and she says like, hey, you know, um, Ko- Kodaka, who's like a new transfer student, um, you know, will you join my club? Because I know you don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. Let's like start like you know having this relationship and you know have this club where like we can hang out and do things together. Um, eventually, okay. Yozura who is shit don't we're not going to talk about her she's sundry as shit she's <laughs> awful they all join this club and they're like hanging out playing video games playing you know uh vns you know all these things um just like the antics of this daily club and then we have more and more members and it's basically it's a harem anime um harem. i know it doesn't end um, as a harem my animal it doesn't which is good um <laughs> The genres on my animes are harem, slice of life, comedy, romance, etchy, and school. Um, it again is like a school etchy? anime, things like that. But etchy? the main character does it. The main character doesn't matter because he's generic. Um, he has blonde hair because his uh, mother is uh, Western, and everybody's like, "Oh, he has blonde hair." He's a de- his little sister has. He's hair a delinquent. Too. The one blonde lolly. <laughs> I just want to talk about my show. <laughs> And you guys keep interrupting me. Um, but yeah, he has he has blonde hair. Um, his mom is Western. Um, everyone thinks he's a delinquent because he has actually blonde hair. And he's like, I hate my blonde hair or whatever. Um, but basically, it's just the antics of this club and different things like that. There's a couple different seasons of this. Uh, the first one airing in 2011 and the second uh, airing in 2013. Um, it's just random antics. Uh, the harem forms. There's like this. Uh, you have the lowly sister uh, who he the main character is not interested in so it's not like going to era manga sensei levels um Good. but she's awesome she's voiced by the goddess uh hanazawa kana um she's great and then you have the other old loli who is a nun because they're at a catholic school so they gotta have a nun right um that's maria of course. she's in she's, she's interesting she's and uh, kobato and <laughs> she is index actually um but uh maria and kobato you know they have that good relationship uh the lollies fighting against each other uh we have like this like scientist nerd chick called uh, rika who is not a good character as well she's kind of annoying um she's fits right in with yozura like yozura go fucking die in a pit um then we have the trap character <laughs> um the poor guy he's just like throwing it's like in uh Rom-Con Snafu, where um, I forget his name, but like uh, the Hachiman relationship with the trap. Um, he's like, oh, this guy could be so hot, except he's a guy. Different things like that. You mean but this girl they dress could him be up so as hot? A... Yeah. This guy could be yeah. so hot, but they, he's a they... guy? <laughs> 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 they 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 dress this poor kid up as like a maid and different things like that. But it's again, it's just like the high school antics of this harem thing. Yukimura but is actually thing that you guys... a girl though. He's not a girl. Yeah, he's a chick. Are you assuming gender? You just said he's a chick. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty. Well, like he just said, dude, he's like, a girl. They, though they dress him up as a chick. Here, Yamura is an effeminate y- student who Yukimura, claims to be a boy. Oh no, I guess he Yukimura is. Yamura is, is a chick, chick but he thinks that he, but she thinks he's a guy, or she thinks she's a guy. I haven't. Yeah, yeah, right. I haven't seen the show in yeah. forever. So she's transgender. Yes. No, she's not transgender. She's transgender in the she's, mind. She's confused. She's, she's confused. confused. That's. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> 
it, it doesn't matter. The character sucks. What you need to know is that 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 Senna Senna is a goddess. She is the waifu. She's got any okay. anytime you see like any character with blonde hair, huge tits, and that fucking butterfly clip in porn and like etchy art, like Did whatever say, whatever wait, it happens to porn. be. You said butterfly, porn. butterfly clip. <laughs> butterfly. Yeah, she has a. It, you'll know. You'll. Roland knows what I'm talking about. She has that butterfly I, clip I that distinguishes something. her. I heard something. She. Else. The butterfly clip. <laughs> that okay. distinguishes yeah, no, her. I got you. As a, as a right. character. Alec, I know what you heard. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Gonna I know say what you it. mean. I know what you it. mean. I'm not gonna. I know say what it, you mean. We're not gonna yeah. go there. Okay. We're not gonna go there. Yeah, we're not going there. We're not. All those. All those things that I mentioned. Anytime. Anytime you see the ba- the baby blue butterfly clip in a blonde oh chick with huge God. tits, that is Sena. She's the goddess. Breast you know, admire her. Children. Watch it. What? Yes. Watch <laughs> this. <laughs> Watch this show. It is good. You will laugh. It's a good rom com. The harem is actually good. Fuck Yozura. You know. Just don't read how the light novels end. Don't don't read that. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because. Your girl just watch your the, girl doesn't win. watch watch the water watch the water park episode watch the water park episode you'll know who best girl is I'm just saying I'm just saying best grill I'm just gonna spoil the ending but best the grill. scientist girl wins scientist grill who, which, which is bullshit because she's the worst it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because she's awful she's, she's fucking, fucking terrible, terrible. <laughs> she's actually Rika well, is you terrible. Guys agree on Rika something. is terrible fuck her. Fuck all of them. Is By the way, that aftermath the was very. That aftermath came after Oriemo's <laughs> aftermath. So oh that was God. just basically yep, two light novel right. authors saying, "Fuck you, you guys all Let's fight. suck." Let's fight. Yep. Yep. Anyway. Anyway. Anything more you want to <laughs> add to that, Drew? No, I think I covered it pretty well, even though I was interrupted multiple times Aww. when I was it discussing made for the goddess. Exciting content, it, okay. Yes. <laughs> as long as you guys admit the the goddess is a goddess, like that's I'm okay. With I'll that. have to watch the show until I can make a. You need you need comment. to watch the show. You you would like it if you like if you like Orishura, if you like Orimo, if you if, if you like Ermaga Sensei. Even seen is it on Crunchy? I haven't seen Aura email. It, I've seen Aura I, don't, I have no, I have no idea. idea. I don't think I don't think it's on Crunchy. I, oh, I doubt it. Um, well, it'll take me some time to get to. If you like Rail Decks, I don't know. I just he hasn't seen, it. He hasn't seen Index there. at all. Dude, I haven't seen a lot of things, all right? I watch, you need to watch some you know, of the things. I go with the flow. You need to watch dude. some of the things that we flow. watch. You need to dude, I go with the, I've seen a lot of things that you guys like. No, dude, I'm not Mark. Wow. Does this turn into a Mark hate episode? Yeah, right poor after Mark. Poor Mark. No, no, poor Mark. No, dude. Poor Mark. No. Oh, poor Mark. Rip Mark's Rip a listener. Mark. He'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna be like, "Wow, you guys." Suck. <laughs> Just kidding, Mark. We love you, dude. You're the coolest. We're waiting in Discord right Shut now for we us to can't, come back, but we can't wait till you get back on this show with us. <laughs> Wow, that At sounded the so end genuine, of the dude. Season. I'm so enthusiastic. That is so genuine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's if that's, fucking wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We've talked about our three shows, these anime memories. Mm-hmm. So, anime um, memories. in closing, let's talk about. So, I see here new anime announced. I don't remember putting this on here, but Drew, do you want to talk about this? I put that I'm on there. You put that yeah, on there. I put that on there. I am fucking hype, guys. Get ready. Hype? Steins Gate Zero. Steins Gate hype. Zero, which came out, hype. I think, I think a year and a half ago or two years ago, as the visual novel. They just this week announced that the anime is coming. So look forward to that. That is going to be hype. This I I read. I haven't read the visual novel, but I kind of know what happens. Basically, uh, Krisu uh, on the timeline they're in dies, and she basically oh, gets shit. put into. That's a spoiler. She dude. gets put into. Uh, whatever she gets put into an ai she gets put into an ai and, and basically talks with um god what's the main character's name Kyoma, dude. um 
Yeah. Ho in Kyoma. Um, yes. Basically, is communicating <laughs> with him about different things and CERN and different things like that. My Myuri is still alive because on that timeline, Kurisu dies. Myuri <laughs> lives. Um, if you've watched the <laughs> if you've watched the original, you'll know about that kind of thing. So super super hype for that. That's gonna be tight. Probably coming. Maybe not this year, but maybe around January of next year is when that's gonna come out. Also. Um, Ava uh, Evangelion um, the official website just released two new posters which are like super crudely drawn and things like that but it's for the new um, Ava rebuild of 3.3 plus 0.10 which is the most retarded way of saying 0.4 point or 4.44 of the new rebuild animes. Um, What was cool about the posters is that um, when we got the preview from 3.33, we saw like the, uh, the earth and like the, basically the land was red and the sky was blue and things like that. So we saw that on the new posters that were coming out. Uh, The, this, the land was red again. And then we saw like a telephone pole kind of like rotting and falling down and the sky being blue. So super, Super, super hyped for that. I've waited like fucking five and a half years for Evangelion. Ano said he's like, hey, boys, after I do Godzilla, we're coming back and doing Evangelion. So I'm hoping that they finish it strong. 3.3 was interesting. It's definitely different than the main series. Um, it takes the rebuilds in a totally different direction than the anime, but I'm hoping they finish uh, totally 3.0 different. plus 4.1 aka 4.44 that's, that's not um, 4.44 it, it that's how they name them though it 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 doesn't make any sense guys it doesn't make any sense but i'm hoping that the new rebuild that. movie will be dope because they they splooge so much fucking budget come on 3.33 I, i'm whoa. hoping that 4.44 gets all the budget come i am not um, gonna lie it's gonna be tight i have not it's gonna be tight. i have not seen any evangelion since 1.0 aired at comic-con um you need to watch you need to watch 1.11 2.22 3.33 3. you need to go what, watch what them. i what I told myself but, was I'm going to wait until the whole movies come out because they seemed like they were on track to release the whole thing within five <laughs> years. And that didn't happen. Oh, so, so 10 years later, oh, so they're one finally going to fucking finish it. <laughs> Hideaki yeah. Anno is like, so, oh, yeah. yeah, sorry, guys. Like, I, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's actually going to take like fucking 15 years to rehash this yep. fucking yep. anime yep. that I made fucking 20 years ago. They have the money. They have yeah. the money. He just doesn't want to do it. He's he's so fucking high on coke, like beyond <laughs> gone. Like him, he, he they're just fucking gone. They need to make this movie. They they're doing it. Godzilla's shit. done. On Ano Ano has no more projects. They're releasing like previews for this. I'm hoping within the next year they get this out. It it's got to be done. The they have end. the money. Evangelion's like, great. Gynax is God damn it. Like Guy, dude, Gynax, Gynax is gone. They went bankrupt. Ano has total control over everything. Studio Zappa uh, has total control over the Evangelion series. Finish this fucking Just movie. Fucking end it. We want to see how it ends because it's not. The the thing is like you know why I want to see it. Why I want to see it so bad is it's so different. Three point three three is so different from the anime. I need to see how this ends. Like, I want I want to see Sh- Shinji like with his hand covered in cum. That is literally canon. No, like, no, no, I want to no, no, see no, no, how no. it that, differs that's, from that's that. Canon from with... the anime as well. So like, his hand yeah, is always exactly. covered in so... semen. <laughs> I need I need to see how this ends. I need to see how you know Ray and Oscar and fucking Mari, who is the new addition to the Evangelion series. I need to see how this fan service ends. I need to see. Shin- it. I, need to see it. So, hand is I, I wish you could see my mother. face right now. <laughs> Su- oh well, we're not we're not going to get into this. When this comes out, we'll it's talk about Freudian, it. It's going to be a fucking fiasco. It's gonna it's it's a Freudian it's fiasco, a Freudian fiasco and an existential yeah. like religious like e- apocalypse total bullshit. We're going to talk about this when this comes out. Let's but let's yeah let's let, move on. All right. <laughs> well, let's, get hype <laughs> about it. Get hype about Ava. Get hype about get Ava. Hype, I like Ava so continuing get hype about continuing the closing of this episode. So um, Alec mentioned that we should plug that we still have. 
No uh, new logo design. This no, is all a temp no. logo that I fucking made in Photoshop with yeah, clip it's art. It's still a temp logo that may eventually just become the uh, actual logo out of pure nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> well, if anybody out there <laughs> ha- knows somebody that wants to, you know, create a logo, we don't really have a budget. Um, but or nope. if you want to do it, by yeah. all means. But by all means, um, shoot it to us in an email. Right now, we'll we'll pay you. We'll pay you if it's reasonable. Right. I'll say that. Right yeah. now, yeah. we're working off of my very limited Photoshop skills, and yes. and that and logo. mine, which are even more limited. <laughs> um, and so, if you're interested, shoot us an email. Go contact us on our WordPress. Um, yeah. But anyways, speaking of WordPress, anime on draft at WordPress dot com. You'll find all of our. Podcasts on there, any of our extra content blogs. I haven't written a blog in a while. I don't know if anyone else has. Um, I haven't. No, I um, haven't. Uh, you know, that'll come back at some point. Alec and yeah. I haven't done yeah. a soccer reset thing in a while. I actually we haven't. haven't we watched. have like six episodes <laughs> I haven't to catch seen up that on, dude. In a while. Oh my God. Um, I kind of lost track. Um, it's a good show, but I just, you know, life came. I'm working on getting a second job. So, yeah. So there's that. There's look us up on Twitter, Anime on Draft, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Anime on Draft. Look us up. Yeah. All, all of you that have been listening do to the, us. Do all those things. Thank you. We appreciate yeah. you. We love you. Yeah. Definitely. We love you as much as Drew loves Sana. You um, the real homies. You as love as I as much as I love Sana, like stomping on my balls as love as and I all that. As things. love as I love Sana. I'm drunk, as well. dude. I can't. I can't. I've, Drew, I've been less drunk since like drunk. <laughs> end this morning. He's, yeah, let's, let's he's been drinking this. Me. since this morning. Send help. And Send he's help. Had All right. This whole All right. fucking denogonizer. His noggin has be, is, de- been denogonized. Has been D. It's been d Words. It's been You guys are saying words. Let's, words. let's just end this. Let's end get this Drew some water. Drew and needs and to get some before water. we ramble, yeah, All let's right. get Drew some water before we go for another half hour. And this is a two hour episode. Thank you. This is not a two hour episode, but it's not. I love anyways, you. we all love you. We will see you next week. Later on, everybody. Thanks for supporting. I love you all. Go watch Santa and Evangelion. That's she's not an Evangelion, but all right. Good, good bye, guys. <laughs> bye. Bye.